Aren't you just, you know, in love with that promo, new Metro promo of Zoe and Jamie living their best lives, watching a movie, eating popcorn? Well, that could come to life because JP Sebastian is here to give us the lowdown on some movies to look forward to in the near future. Yes. We touched on some really deep stuff earlier on. Mm -hmm. And the second part, you said it's some silly movies. Yes. Probably written by people. I can hear your energy is like elevated already. You're just like, please, <laughs> like I have too many brain cells. I need to dispense with them. I'm done. Please. I don't want to think when I watch a movie. We're going to start with Shadow in the Cloud. Yes. Wait, uh, what genre is it? Uh, so this is a World War II horror, sci-fi, drama, thriller, uh, uh, goblin fantasy. Slash, slash, slash. Slash spy thriller, <laughs> yes, as well. Uh, so, yeah, I seriously think that, like, I don't know, the people in the writer's room just ate too much sugar yeah. and then went to Kira. Are uh, you not impressed? No, no, I'm super excited about these. Like, mm. I, I, you know, sometimes you want to eat sushi and then sometimes you just want a sloppy joe. Yes. Uh, and Please. these are the sloppy joes of movies. Although a lot of fancy critics are even saying that this is a blast. Uh, it is just dumb fun. Uh, <laughs> except there are obviously layers to it too. So Chloe Grace Moretz, who, shame, every movie that she has been in, she's sort of elevated because mm. uh, she was in Kick-Ass, which was just utterly garbage. Oh my the, gosh, is the, it the human superheroes, that movie? Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, I know it. I, it was terrible. Uh, and the, 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 <laughs> the sleazy sort of like lay misogyny in it as well. But mm. like even as a child actress, she she pumped up the role. Yes. She did the hard work and in this she does it too, apparently. Shadow in the Cloud. She is a World War II intelligence officer who gets uh, speaks her way onto, onto this air fortress, as they refer to them. And she's holding this package that needs to be safely delivered. She can't tell people what's in the package, of course. So there's almost this Apocalypse Now vibe where she's on the boat going up the Mekong. No one knows where she's going or why. Mm. Uh, but the men on board are men in war, and so they're, they're speaking of sleazy, they're the mm. worst. Uh, you know, aside from calling her babe, there's a lot of other more gross things that they, mm. you know, try their luck with with her. But you see that she grits her teeth and takes on a sky gremlin, as was the case in World War II. Um, which, by the way, I, I saw so much of the stupid, stupid trivia for this. And, oh, there weren't any female <laughs> pilots. It's like there weren't gremlins in the sky either. What do you want? <laughs> there you go. There's the silly gremlin. That oh, she fights. no. Um, so, yeah. Park your mind at the door. I don't know. Leave it at the counter. Chuck your brain in the popcorn. Uh, and <laughs> that, your body cannot Just do the that. The visuals are so wild. Absolutely not. There is no way the body survives <laughs> being... Uh, rebounded off a Japanese plane exploding back into their own airplane. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm, no. I'm truly ready sometimes <laughs> to just watch some of the dumbest nonsense and Shadow in the Cloud might, you know, as well as being thoughtful because mm. of the whole misogyny vibe yes. and the fact of, like, a woman in a position of power being cross-questioned at all times might be interesting, but also it's just the explosions and the roller coaster of the thing that I look forward to. No date in SA as of yet. Something that I am also looking forward to. The next one is kind of... Um, <laughs> Psycho Goreman. Ah, uh, that is what? an awful name for a movie. That is utterly stupid. But also just look at the cover <laughs> art as well. <laughs> yeah, speaking Little of, girl, again, a big psycho. That's so creepy. Complete sugar high. There's a brain with eyeballs there because you have to have that on a poster. Seriously, that's the only reason why, I don't know, Dr. Shivalgo wasn't successful. There wasn't an eyeballed brain. Uh, that is Psycho Goreman you're looking at there. Uh, the reason the name is so stupid is, remember when you were a kid and you gave stupid names to your dolls and action figures? Yes. Me too. Like, I had a soldier called, like I don't know, Colonel war crimes or something like that or murder face <laughs> what was so, the war crime uh, no, uh, the war crime was i don't know my my unimaginative childhood mm. so in this a little girl has a magical amulet that awakens what she dubs psycho gore man and he's the worst most evil most sinister character in the universe who wants to take control of everyone and enslave us and all this kind of th uh, stuff he tells her brother i will bathe in your blood and she's like oh. no because she controls the amulet which controls him okay so you've almost got a terminator vibe here remember john connor had arnold schwarzenegger who was this robot who you yes. can control this thing is so miffed at all times it's almost got like ibs it's just angry and cranky but it's controlled by a seven-year-old uh, and it does her work Necessarily, the power goes to her head, and she becomes the most evil thing in the universe. That every the child herself, every character, <laughs> every every bad guy in the universe, in a very Power Rangers fashion, as you can see. The makeup is very good, by the way, for a low-budget B-grade horror that is self-aware as a B-grade horror. Uh, wow, the special effects are great. Um, she, she becomes the thing that then the bad guys need to defeat themselves if they want mm. to be uh, emancipated from the clutches of an evil little girl. Uh, <laughs> But you know what, JP? It's giving yes. me the vibes of um, scary movie. Um, it's yeah, kind so, of like so a it's horror, a parody, but of it's, course. 
taking the mickey out of yeah. yourself. What I do appreciate, though, is like if you know that you're doing just uh, you know cheeseburger drive-through fast food fun, mm. uh, you're not shooting for the stars. You're not like I want to make two hundred million dollars from it. It's going to be a true. cult favorite kind of thing. It's going to have a small base of fans, and mm. you'll see this probably at South African horror festivals, or definitely at South African horror festivals. But there is no date necessarily just right now for large commercial screens. Mm. Sometimes I love this mind-numbing stuff, though. Uh, yeah, I appreciate same. the heart that goes into it, especially the special effects look so good. The concept is stupid enough. I'm in. Super, super exciting. Thank you so much once again, JP, for joining us and elevating our movie. What do you call it? So this, is, this is not an elevation. I'm okay, totally dumb. All of you Thank you for these. putting us on on movies. I stole to look IQ forward points. To. <laughs> Coming soon. G and Tabsy, what can we do for us to experience this kind of movie watching?